All right, guys. So the goal is to restore the nap. If you don't know what nap is, it's basically the fluff on the suede. It's like it, it like the fluffiness, basically. I don't know how to describe it. I can show you it, but it's called nap, and that's what you really want to restore and make clean. So what I have for that is suede cleaner, brush, and eraser. Now this eraser is. I can't even sure what it's made of, but you can use like a pencil eraser if you really wanted to, but this is more made for suede. It's a lot safer, and it is, if you can tell, it breaks off, it's a lot more crummy. You can, it'll break off easily, and you're not supposed to rub hard on suede. It's supposed to be nice and gentle, but this is only for tough stains. I don't see any stains right now. Maybe when I start brushing it, I'll see a little more stains. But for this main the main video, I'm gonna be brushing this, and I'm probably gonna get some water and just kind of clean off all that dirt I can't get. And I mean, if I find any type of stain, I'll point it out. And here's the thing with stains: so you can either use this, and if it's not coming out with this, you need to get white vinegar. White vinegar is, it's a, I think it's an acid, so. It will dissolve that stain and then, I mean, all you have to do after that is let it sit for a while and then you just get your brush and brush it off. That's all you have to do. Okay, so now with this brush, what you want to do is brush down. You want to go against the grain because to in order to make that nap come out, you want to go against the grain. Shit, my camera's about to die. Okay, so like I was saying, all I'm going to do right now is brush it in one direction which is down because it's going against the suede so I can make that nap so that's all I'm gonna do right now is just brush it down I do see a stain now I actually see a stain it's uh, like right here I'm not sure if you guys can see that but there's a stain right there so I'm gonna try to take it out I'm just gonna go against the grain and I'll uh, see how this goes for the first tries nice and gentle you don't want to go too hard because, you know, if you go too hard, you can actually damage your suede. And um, there's brushes out there that have, um, I think they're like steel or like aluminum uh, brushes right here. So, I mean, if you have one of those, just be really careful because you can damage your suede if you go too hard. So just go nice and gentle. Nothing too hard. Just, all you're really doing is brushing out all the dirt that's on top. And... That's pretty much it. That's all you got to do so far. There's three different brushes you can get. This one, it's a more traditional, but there's, like I said, the material is brass. It's brass that's in here. So it's not aluminum. It's a brass brush. And those typically clean really deep into your shoe. But, I mean, you have the potential of uh, destroying it if you go too hard. And then they make um, these other brushes called crepe brushes. So... But crepe brushes are the like little, they have like these uh, squiggly, like wavy kind of pattern to it. And I mean, they don't clean as deep or like as well as the brushes. But I mean, they're a lot softer and um, you'll less, it'll be less likely that you'll damage your suede boots with those kind of brushes. And last one is the eraser, this thing. This actually does, you can use this. And I'll probably use this last and I'll probably get like these tougher stains down here on the bottom where I'm kicking all that mud and dirt. So I'll use that, but right now I'm just gonna brush all this off, <clears throat> both boots. So I see, get them nice and clean. And I mean, they're already looking way better already. All you have to do is brush them. You don't need anything special. And you know, these are boots, so like typically you're not supposed to put suede in water but I these boots um, are made from Thursday boots so I think they have that suede the safe suede something like that safer water I made a video on it and I mean like I put these in water and just like slips right off it's like pretty crazy so it, it works really well especially in the rain because I've, I've been in the snow with this I've gotten these wet so many times, but I mean, they still look nice. Keeping their uh, shape pretty well. And their colors still the same. Maybe a little bit lighter, 
actually a little bit darker but um you know it's not too noticeable and this, these boots look really nice though I don't know about you guys but when I first smelled leather I thought it smelled horrible but now when I smell it it smells like oh dude I love the smell of leather it just smells so good <laughs> it grows on you so if you never had leather in your wardrobe you know the first smell you're gonna think it's kind of weird but after that you, it grows on you and you really start to enjoy the smell of it now since these are suede you're not gonna want to put any polish on it there's not gonna be there's not really a polish for suede that's kind of how it is so I mean that's one thing about this kind of boot is all you really need to do is brush it and uh, I mean use this if you have any stains on it but it's the maintenance is take it as you will it could be a lot easier to do but I mean it's more it's gonna be a lot harder especially with lighter color suede it's like a light brown um, if you have a stain on that, it's going to be a lot harder to take out. And, you know, if you have a stain like that, like say if you got a wine stain on it, I think the best way you could take it out is either using white vinegar and letting it sit and then like brush it off because it dries up. Or you could put cornstarch on it if it's still wet. And then all that cornstarch will soak up that um, liquid and you can brush it off the next day. And when you do that, and don't just leave it a just put it aside don't put it next to anything warm don't like try to force it because it's just gonna make it worse and you know just be patient with that and don't don't stress too much and if you know if all things go south guys just like always know that just take it to a cobbler take it to some, a professional that knows how to clean suede you'll be all right it might be pretty pricey but I mean, it's better than messing up your entire shoe or whatever you're cleaning. So what I've been noticing is that I don't think these are stain marks, but I think they're just wear marks. Like wear and tear, I think the leather's just getting thinner and like it's wearing down. So I don't think those are stains yet. But I mean, it's looking pretty nice already. I'm just making it look fluffy again, so it's working pretty well. So I'm just gonna scrub in between these cracks right here, between the shoe cracks. Right here where the laces are. There's a bunch of dirt I see right in this area, so I'm gonna try brushing all that out. And I'm just gonna dig deep, push a little harder this time. And uh, I'm gonna get some water just to wipe the sides off. Um, I mean, you, don't have to, you can't do much for this. This is wood right here, so. That's gonna be like chipping off, and all you can't really, you can't really do anything about that. The bottom is, uh, it's rubber, and then you know the top is rubber, but the middle part is wood. So I'm just gonna leave that. I can't really. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could sand it down, but that'd be stupid. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do my best, scrub all this dirt out. I can see a lot of dust coming out, so there's a lot of dirt in this part. <coughs> And you know, here's another tip now that's fresh on my mind. But you know, if your if your nap isn't sticking up as much as you want it to, I mean, I think it's doing it now because I brushed against it. But if it's not sticking out, if it looks kind of dead, you can also steam this. But um, you know, just be careful when you do that because you don't want to mess up your suede. And it's just one option you can do. So I'm just gonna go over it with these little this eraser I got, and I'm just gonna go for mainly the back part. And the front where like the most uh, contact with like the elements was with because I mean I usually I always get this wet in like the winter time and um, I can see I mean it's held its color pretty well I'm not sure if I can really show that but and there's no real stains on it but I'm still gonna go over it because I just don't want this to you know I got it try oh you know I do see a stain so I'm gonna try buffering that out but right now I'm just gonna focus on the back and the front when I first got these boots they weren't actually suede all the way so the boot was actually kind of thin it was really thin same with the back side and it's mainly this part of your foot that has like the most suede on it and so the front part I'm not too worried about because I think it's made to be wet because it's like a little bald right here. 
And same with the backside. It's like bald. So, I mean, I'm still going to go over it. I could see it picking up a little bit. And it's looking pretty clean already, so. So, I don't want to say these lacing, this lacing right here is polyester, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Because, like my Thursday boot jacket, it was made of polyester. And, you know, cotton doesn't hold as well as polyester because it's not, polyester's plastic. That's why it holds so well, and it keeps this color pretty well. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this lacing is made of polyester. I think it's just one way they kind of cut corners. But, I mean, n there's nothing wrong with the lacing. It looks fine to me. But, you know, if you really want a nice, nice boot, <laughs> what am I saying? This is, these are really nice boots. Just because your lacing isn't made of cotton. I mean, come on, man. It's supposed to be durable. Dur cotton isn't very durable, especially when it comes to, like, shoes because you're gonna be kicking dirt rocks whatever you're gonna want it to hold polyester is really strong material and it does its job pretty well so okay geez just to finish this video off not to drag it on too long all I'm gonna do is replace these laces they're kind of frayed and they're like really old and um, I got some new ones but you know one thing I just really noticed about these laces is that where the heck did I put them so these laces, it's kind of weird, but um, come on, focus. I don't think gonna want to focus. Come on, but there we go. So these laces are waxed. There's wax on them, and um, when I first got these boots, these weren't as. Well, listen to this. So that is like they're all stiff and hard, and I'm not even sure if it's supposed to be like that because when I first got these boots. These were actually very soft and like waxy to the feeling. This is just feels stiff and almost like plastic. So I don't know why it's that, damn it. I don't know why it's that way, but I'm not gonna throw these out. I'm just gonna hold on to these old laces just in case, you never know. I'm just gonna hold on to them. But uh, at this point, all I have to really do is change these laces and my cleaning up of the shoe is pretty much over. I don't have any stains on it. I've taken pretty good care of these. I don't know. Actually, no, I have not. But <laughs> for, you know, haven't been cleaned for over a year. Like, these things are really clean. They almost look brand new still. And uh, the only thing I will say is that there's a little bit of discoloration right here. Right here. But I feel like that doesn't really matter. The laces just need replaced. The front, I mean... Damn it, that's something with you. This area right here is a little worn out, a little bit on the bottom too, but that's kind of normal. There's supposed to be lacing right here, but it got, it's just eaten away. That's normal, so nothing wrong with that. The grip on this, still fine, the little studs right here. The nails, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. That nail's a little off, I don't know why it's that way. And uh, this thing is popping out, and I think about it. This little area right here is popping out of the shoe. Just a tiny bit. So, but overall, these things are holding up really well. You can get another year at least out of these. Those other boots looking a little bit better. The nail in there is kind of off, rusting, but it's fine. Same thing with the laces right here. I mean, overall, this boot is holding up really well. I'm pretty sure you're gonna have this for another few years. All I'm gonna do is change the laces and then call it a day, guys, because these things are great. And I don't see any other things I can do to it. So I remember my review video, people were telling me that you could buy these laces online, so I didn't know about that, so that's pretty cool. So now I'm just gonna unlace these, take them off. I won't go too quick. Now, I'm not doing this blindly. I'm gonna use my other boot as a reference so I know how to thread these the right way so I don't mess up. But uh, it can't be that hard. It's almost like threading a shoelace through a normal teenage, or a normal, te what the hell are they called? Tennis shoe, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so let's look at this old shoelace. There we go. So here's the old shoelace. 
It's kind of old matted. See, look, right there. You can't really tell. It's worn out. There's actually some discoloration right there. I don't know where that's from. I think that's all the dirt. That one, too. It just keeps going. There's some discoloration. So, you know, these things need to be changed out. Pretty old. As for the boot, look right here where you can see the laces. It really destroyed that suede right there. But that's normal. It's going to be covered by the lace anyway. So, I'm not too stressed about it. Last thing I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to brush this tongue right here just so I can look nicer because the laces really did work did a work on this it looks pretty bad and roughed up so I'm just gonna touch it up a little bit now I'm brushing these bald spots and I see a little bit of nap coming up so that's a good sign I'm not trying to go too hard. I know it's going to get bald again when I put the new laces on, but I'm going to do my best to keep it nice as possible. All right, that's the this is the best I can do. I'm not sure if you can see any difference. I see a little bit right here. There's more nap coming out. But I'm not too worried about this. Everyone's going to see this part of the tongue. And just look inside the boot. It looks great. Leather. Ah, still smells like that good leather. It's my, I've broken into these boots, so it feels like I'm wearing tennis shoes at this point. But, uh, this leather is looking great inside, nothing wrong with it. And, uh, looks pretty good inside, so I'm gonna put the new laces on and call it this boot good. So look at this, there's glue right here and my freaking lace got glued onto it. What the hell is this man? Oh man, oh wait, it's coming off good. That's fine, all right. I was getting kind of worried there. <laughs> okay, so the best way to weave this thing through is to just get these two hands, hold it like this, and then all you're gonna do is poke them through these two holes right here. And all you're gonna do is pull through. Pull them right out. They wanna go. Like that. Perfect, see that looks great. Dang, I can actually notice a big difference just looking at the laces. It's kinda like putting new rims on a car. That's how I kinda see it. It's like the rims can change a lot and uh, these boots look really nice with these shiny new uh, laces, so what a good call I made swapping them out. I'm not sure if you guys see a difference. I can see a difference. This one's a lot glossier. This one's a lot more old. I'm still going to keep these though, so. Alright, let's finish weaving these. Just go in and out, in and out, so, and you cross them across. It's not that hard. I think you'll get the hang of it. Just look at your other shoe if you need a diagram. Don't take both of them off. Take one at a time so you can always look at another as a reference. I'm gonna close this box. So what you wanna do is make sure there's no twisting in the the laces either as you go through them and make sure they're tight and I mean you'll be able to tighten them when you're finished but it's better if you try to keep them somewhat tight not too tight because you don't want to have so much thread taken out and then you're gonna have to re like pull some uh, slack out so just make sure it's somewhat tight not enough but you'll you'll get the hang of it just weave them through and you'll look good all right, um, I think I messed up. I'm just checking it real quick. I uh, do not know. I can't tell, actually. All these old laces. Pull them back. I'm checking right now because I'm not even sure if I did this right because it doesn't look similar. No, that does not look right. There's three laces on top are sticking out, and there's one at the bottom like that. 
you guys can tell see how these are sticking out and then this one's inside so I'll have to redo this one because I put one two inside and one out so I have to redo this boom just like that they look as good as new a little bit better I guess this one you can tell that the laces are all old laces look good on this one it's already looking great. I know it's gonna have a tighter grip on it too, so because that wax actually helps grip your the laces together, so that's gonna help a lot. So I'm just gonna do this one and then I'll call it a day because they're looking really nice right now. Just like that, guys, I finished my boots. Um, I didn't want to bore you with the second weaving of the or other lacing of the other boot, but uh, one thing I forgot to mention if. For you, whatever reason, don't have another pair or can't buy one. There, I don't know why you couldn't buy one. But an alternative way just to clean your laces is like honestly just get them, take them off, and then putting them in some soapy water. And uh, just let it soak for a while. And then you just dry it and then they're fine from there. But I mean if you're going to clean your boot, like especially a deep clean, this wasn't, I mean you can, only, there's only so much you can do with suede. But if you're gonna deep clean your boot, I suggest you just get new laces. Maybe once a year, and maybe I don't know if you really care about them uh, every six months or maybe even three every three months. But I mean, laces itself, those could have lasted probably the lifetime of, of the boot. But I think it's just nicer to get new laces because it really does make your boot look brand new again. Just like, just like rims on a car, guys. It looks really good. One last thing is that I know I didn't have the spray for the suede. I could not find any. And if I ordered some, it would probably take way too long. I wanted to make this video. But just know that they make uh, like spray for this type of suede. So it, it's, a, it's a water repellent. And it, you know, it keeps your suede from getting wet. What it is, it's hydrophobic. So like literally all it does is like if you spill water, it just water drips off. And that's how you can protect your suede. Okay, geez, so just to demonstrate this a little further is that there's a stain on my jacket right here and it's it's dry now, but I just want to further explain how to get a stain out. So what I will use is white vinegar and all you're going to do is dab it on a cloth like this. So the reason you do that is so it breaks it down and then you're just going to let it sit in like a room temperature, don't put it in the sun or anything. Just let it dry on its own. Then you get your brush and you're gonna just brush it right off. That's all you're gonna do. Um, it's very simple. And uh, if you have, so like the stain is dry. And if it was wet, what you would want to do is get some kind of like a like cornstarch. Cornstarch is good. Um, I can't think of anything else that you can use. But I mean, uh, if you use cornstarch, you'll soak up that. Uh, wet stain and unlike this one I think that's like milk or something I don't know what that is but uh, it dried out so I'm just gonna dab it and let it sit for a bit and then I'm just gonna brush it right off okay put some vinegar on real quick okay right, so I got some vinegar on the cloth right now all I said was just a little dab like that that's a little too much but I mean I'm not going to put all that, so all I'm going to do is just stab it on like that. That's all you're going to do. A few tabs. 
don't rub it in because it's probably going to make it worse but just until it starts to get a little darker in color like that if you can notice just a little dab and then that's good enough I'm just going to leave it there I'm going to let it sit for a while uh, not in the sun but I'm just going to let it sit for maybe 20-30 minutes and then I'll come back to it and just brush it off alright so 10-15 minutes passed and uh, the stain already I mean the the dark area went away so I'm just going to try brushing this off yeah, it's kind of coming off look at it it's kind of in there so it's like a it's like flaky and uh, I'm not trying to get this area too much As you can see, it's making the nap around this area kind of like pop out. And by the way, this is a lambskin. And I'm not sure what the Thursday Boots is. I don't think it's lambskin. Thursday Boots uses like some synthetic type of leather. But it's not like 100% animal leather. This, this is lambskin. I think it's 100% lambskin. So it's really soft and I mean, if you try to clean something up like this, you have to be very careful because lambskin is very um, delicate. And I mean, if you scratch too hard, you're gonna make a bad, bad gash or like a freaking just a dark spot or light spot. You can this cuts really easy if you get like some kind of blade and just like scratch it off. Lambskin is very delicate and I mean it's really soft, but that's why it's so delicate because it's not That strong But I think it's kind of coming out at this point It helped a lot, but it's still a little bit in there It's gotta oh there it goes. It's all coming out now It's gotta put a little more pressure on it Boom, that's all it got it off so it's gone now and um, like I said if it's a wet stain get cornstarch put it on there wait a few minutes and then um, come clean it up with your brush or eraser whatever you got and uh, be patient guys always be patient don't get frustrated because that's when things get messed up so take your time don't stress out and it's not that hard and if it really comes down to it I'll go to a professional Go to a, some cobbler for your boots or just go to dry cleaners. Ask them if they can clean suede specifically and if they can, good. Um, it might be a little pricey, but I mean it's better if you clean it the right way than mess up your however expensive your jacket is or boots. So remember, just always take your time. Be patient and if you have to, I mean you're going to... If you really want to take care of your stuff, go to the dry cleaners. Go to a professional that knows what they're doing. But this is just basic stuff, how to do at home. Um, just You can't really do too much with suede anyways. But uh, if you can buy the spray. Like I said, it's water, water-based spray. And all it does is repel the water off. I don't have that on me. But um, it's not that hard to find. It's pretty cheap. They sell it on Thursday boots. But... That's a very simple way of getting stains out of your suede. Well, that was the video for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. One thing I've learned is that I cannot shoot one video in one take. So if you liked it, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, hit that, hit that uh, thumbs up. Um, and if you found it informative, let me know. If you guys think uh, you guys can give me more tips. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this how to take care of your clothing stuff because you know It's one thing to have nice clothing, but you got to learn how to take care of it, too. So that's all I got guys um, I'll see you next video. This is Daniel the Lions Den, bro hit sub and uh, Join the family. What's up, Woody? What's up, bro? What are you doing? All right, geez. That's all I got Peace out
¡Ay, ay, ay, ay! ay.